Never know how much I love you Never know how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever The room was hot, but just got hotter. <laughs> I'd been in the private dick business for a year and couldn't think of better reason for staying in it. I made a speciality of cheating spouses. Usually, it was husbands I watched and women I interviewed. This was a first, and so far I was enjoying the chat. The fan turned lazily overhead, the shuttered lights fell in strips along the floor, I wanted to keep my eyes on him as eagerly as a kid with candy, but I had to make notes. I grabbed my pen and notepad. Name of the cheating bitch, I asked. <laughs> he put the ankle of one leg onto the knee of the other, and his anatomy raised, came to rest against the material of his shorts. <laughs> it was long, <laughs> like the wilted barrel of a Colt 45 ready to be cocked. He was something. Shoulders you wanted to cling to, hips you wanted to mount, equipment ready for an assault. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I don't reckon a man should get out his gun unless he's ready to use it. But maybe he'd forgotten the holster in his unhappiness. I forgive him. Sure, he said. And your name? Sonny. <laughs> I raised an eyebrow. Sonny and Cher. <laughs> what kind of idiot did he take me for? <laughs> I leaned back in my chair. The view was better that way. <laughs> Is this some kind of a joke? He dropped his leg to the floor and leaned forward. Show's over, I thought, but I'll see if we can't raise the curtain again later. No joke, Ray, he said, and ran his fingers through his thick black hair. I wished I was hair at that moment, all of me. Roots, shafts, glands. Cher has another man. I know it. I need to know for sure. Oh yeah? I said, watching his fingers. He put his hand down in his pocket, deep down around where the Colt 45 was lying, and I broke out into a light sweat. Yeah, he said, and took out a pack of cigarettes. He put it between his lips, biting on it, and I got up and came round the desk. I flicked a lighter and held it to the tip. He looked at me standing there. I was wearing a short skirt, legs bare. It's Singapore. It's hot. <laughs> I like that, like, sue me. He, he slowly put a cigarette to the flame and inhaled. I watched the paper burn, curling back up the cigarette, glowing hot, and smelt the tobacco. Guy like me needs to know who he's with. I leaned back against the desk. My skirt rose. He dropped his eyes, and I felt like the paper on a cigarette. Tell me about yourself, Sonny, I said. I turned and bent over the desk to get my notepad. It was out of reach and I had to raise one leg to get it. The chair scraped in the floor and I turned as he stood up. He bent towards me and the flames leaped to the second floor. Ashtray, he said, grabbing it. He sat down again and took a long drag. Smoke curled around his face. Somewhere I heard a saxophone playing and a blonde singing the blues. 
Model, he said. Swimwear. I thought Cher was different to the other bitches. He stubbed out his cigarette and raised his lazy eyes to mine. He looked as sad as a puppy without a toy, and I went close to him and touched his shoulder. It's okay, Sonny. I'll check it out. He put his arms around my waist and pulled me against him, resting his head on my bosom. The house went up in flames and I stroked his hair and neck. Baby, don't worry, I murmured. Seduction had never felt so good. I know what it is to be lonely. He gave a sob. Then some bastard must have called the fire department because he released me. Chet hit me straight in the solar plexus and I returned, doused, to the other side of the desk. <laughs> he gave me the particulars of the cheating bitch, job, movements, hobbies. I'll get on it right away, I said, and his lips curled into a crooked smile, like we were talking about what we weren't talking about. Ignition, I thought, and got up. He rose too, and we stood like two cats purring, facing each other. How about a drink, I said, licking my foot. Sure, he said, raising his tail and marking his territory. I didn't mind. I wanted to be his territory. Tonight, I said, flexing my claws. Now, he said, stroking his whiskers. I don't want to be alone tonight, Ray. I know a place. Meow, I thought, and felt my heckles rise. I'll get my bag, I said and turned. When I came back, he had his hand deep inside the pocket of his shorts again, moving, rummaging in the goods department. Tom Cat, I thought, can't wait. I like an eager man, but I didn't want him getting trigger happy. I went up to him and stroked his arm. How much do you want, he said. About as much as I can get, I said, and he frowned. He took his hand from his shorts and opened his wallet. I kept on stroking his arm. Later, Sonny, you'll pay me later. He nodded. You'll need a photo of Cher, he said, the husky voice low and growling. Oh, baby, let's get out of here, I thought, and discuss Cher in great length in something more comfortable. This guy had the weapon and the ammunition. What was wrong with her? He opened his wallet and took out a photo. I took it. And the fire department, the Office of Public Health and the police screamed up, tire squealing. Sherman had short cropped hair, stubble and biceps like a boxer. <laughs> he was dressed in tight black leather with enough studs to stop a tank. He was holding a microphone, singing to Sonny, who was dressed in a sleeveless tank top, his tight ass and big gun tucked into jeans. Tears started to roll down Sonny's cheeks. He was singing, I got you, babe, he sobbed. He's our favorite song. <laughs>